guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a get ready with me using my Project Pan products. Not been the best. I will update you guys whenever these get posted on how I'm doing Project Pan wise. I'm doing, eh, you will let you, you know, see how. You, let me know how you think I'm doing. The Sydney Gray Tiny Marvel palette with Mel Thompson and then the Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 1 palette. So let's get started. And we got some friends going on here. These need to go away. So let's get into it. First, in a prime, get the boring stuff out of the way. I'm gonna set my lid with a matte skin tone shade from the Doll 10 Enchanting Eyes palette. Always do that, boring. So let's get that done. All right, all set with my eyes. All right, so let's get into this. I don't know what I'm doing today. I know some of you guys like that I do natural looks. My natural, probably not natural for you because I still do like a full face. <laughs> But I just get so bored. I'm always like, I feel like, I don't know. I don't look like myself. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, probably people feel the opposite when they wear a lot of color. They probably don't feel like themselves. But that's just me. And, okay. So my Project Pan. That's why I really like the Mel Thompson palette. Because it has like some murky colors. I don't know. So I've been starting with, I really like Tree Hopper. Again, a dip in that let's do walking stick and then death moth and then maybe we'll do like a purple on the outer corner or maybe on the lower lash line. i don't know let's get into it let's do tree hopper first i want to film so sunday is my day where i get a lot of filming done i film every day with my shorts and everything like that but I film my videos typically on the weekends because it's just easier with the kids and work and everything. I have some a lot of videos I'm going to be filming today. I need to do my Project Pan videos. I need to, obviously I'm doing this video. I also need to do my empties video really, really bad because we are moving in four weeks. Four weeks until you don't see this situation going on. And sorry if you can hear my bulldog snoring. All right, you're gonna try to keep it down low. I always say that and then it ends up to my like, you know, forehead. I also want to do, I don't know, some, so I'm turning 30 in August and I really wanna do like a video on like how I've changed in my 20s, especially mentally, physically. <laughs> Cause I feel like 29, I just so many things have just, change body wise and i don't know how old everybody is that watches me but i just want to vent and also see how everyone else is doing if you are younger than me or older than me <laughs> a lot of things i just like some things i've been lucky with some things i have not been lucky with like i'm like come on like when does this end with this acne and stuff and i'm getting more into skincare so i'm like come on <laughs> like and you guys can't see that I have fine lines, but I do. I've noticed my skin is also getting, like, drier and more sensitive. Okay, so I wore a necklace yesterday. It was my grandma's, and my grandma, one of my grandmas passed away. But anyway, I was wearing one of her necklaces, and I have... I'll have to have my husband show, show you a picture, but, like, I have a mark on the back of my neck here. And I always wear this necklace, so it's not this, but... I don't know what it is. I used to, so my wedding ring was white gold. So if you don't know me, I've been married twice. I'm married now, but I, my first wedding ring and engagement ring was 14 karat white gold and I had no reaction to it at all. This is platinum, but my wedding rings for this marriage, so weird. Anyway, we're 14 karat white gold. She's set. I got them off of Etsy. No offense to Etsy. I buy a lot of stuff on Etsy, but I had a reaction almost immediately. It thankfully has healed, but it was, my finger was extremely red. I can include pictures. Peely, just disgusting. It was itchy. And I'm like, I've worn white gold before. My ears have been always really sensitive, but not my fingers. So I contacted the seller. She was like, this is ridiculous that you're messaging me this so late. I'm like, okay. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have to get a new, um, I'm going to have to get a new wedding ring since it's a family ring and I love that it's platinum and I just need to get it resized though because I don't know even though my weight's been fluctuating and stuff anyway let's get into the makeup <laughs> God. all right we're gonna use 
walking stick. I need to get my mirror position. I cannot wait till I have better lighting. This has been so like annoying. Putting it below. Can't wait to have just a better setup for you guys and for me. It's been hard doing this project pan to be honest because I just I do different looks every day. Like I don't do the same look. I mean sometimes but it's pretty rare. Like I like to switch it up. I like to try different things, different color combinations. So and to be honest, the Moonspell palette, like I use it, I do use it pretty regularly, but I don't use it as my standalone palette because I don't I don't really like the shimmers. I definitely like the shimmers in the Moonspell Volume 2 palette, which is so weird because when I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, absolutely not. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical, a little nervous to try another one from his brand, even though I really like Manny. But I got it in my mystery box, and at first I was like, oh my god. Like, I saw the, I kind of cheated a little bit, and I saw that a lot of people were getting it, and I'm like, oh no, like, I don't want to get it. It's going to suck, and it actually was really good. All right. I need some color. This is just, I mean, I like it because it's definitely, I don't know, a little more grungier, but I'm really trying to not take it like high up. All right. I think I'm going to do purple. Am I going to regret this? Maybe I'll do page. It's not like super dark. So how's everybody doing? What do you guys typically do on the weekends? Do you just like chill out and relax or like, do you try to get things done? We had so much fun yesterday with my in-laws and we went and saw the house we're moving into so that was like really exciting we got the appliances in the carpet was getting done so i just like snuck in saw all that the deck was done that's gonna be so awesome oh, God, i'm just so excited i still can't like i have been renting ever since i moved out of my parents house when i first got married to my first husband and so i've been moving every year to two years since then or more one time moving to a different state for like six weeks and then chickening out kind of is a long story. All right, glitter glue, obviously. And then we will put a shimmer on. Still don't know what I'm doing. This is why I use multiple shimmers because I use, I don't know, I wanna use them all, you know what I mean? So guys, I am moving to a new state, moving to Maryland. If you guys didn't know, I haven't talked about it in a while. Moving into a bigger townhouse, so we'll have more space and like the filming space. I work from home exclusively, so I need more space that's not in my daughter's room. And she gets to have her own room for the first time. I felt so bad because her bedroom has been like storage or not really her own room. And my oldest has her own room. All right, so we're going to use the shade. I said I wanted to do neutral. Did I say that? I don't think I said that. But I think I said in my project pan I wanted to do BB, I believe, and Firebutts and Meadowhawk. What the hell? Let's just use them all. So let's do Meadowhawk on the outside. I don't know how this is going to look. Wait, we shall see. Oh my god. Do you see that? Like, Jesus. I cannot. Sometimes you when you haven't used the shade in a while and you use it again, you're like, what in the world? She did so good on this palette. So sad. <sighs> Don't want to get all emotional. Anyway, even though I didn't even know her, but you know what I mean? Still, let's do BB. Yeah, anyway, something happy. So we are moving. Also, the girls are going to have a own playroom, which is so awesome. We get to have a little backyard, a deck. Really, really exciting. Really happy stuff. Definitely, like I said, need to do my, and I'm using fire butts on the inner part. Need to do my 20s update because I've learned a lot in my 20s and I'm sure I will learn more in my 30s, but I just feel very different coming into my 30s than I was in my 20s. God, my life is very different than it was. I just look back sometimes and you're like, what? So I was standing in our new house and I, I mean, it still doesn't feel real. Like I still feel like I'm in someone else's house cause we're not in there yet. And I feel like I still can't believe we're actually like 
I still can't believe we're buying a house. I know we purchased it or decided to purchase it in November, end of November, and now it's May. I'm moving to a different state, which I said I never would do again, but this time it's different because we're only like an hour away from my where I'm from. So it's not like I was eight to 10 hours away when I moved to Kentucky. Like it's a long story. I have to do a whole video on that. All right, let me know if this is just me, but I got this house laboratories by Lady Gaga eyeliner, the micro tip eyeliner in black. First, I really, really loved it. And I love the tip, like how small it is. It's kind of dried out. I didn't have it very long. Like the second or third time I used it, it started drying out. The first time was great. It's easy to use. This is really, really black. And then all of a sudden it starts like dying on me. I got it on sale. Originally it's $20. I got it for 12. It's totally like my NYX one, but I do, I mean, let me know if you have any recommendations for an eyeliner like this. That's really, really black and matte, but is cruelty free and vegan, obviously. So I think I'm just going to do a basic line today. I like how precise it is and easy to wing it out, but it's just, no one wants to go over a bunch of times and it's just not as black as it was the first time I used it. Maybe it doesn't go over shimmers really well. I don't know. Well, sorry, but I only really do shimmer looks. Yeah, it's already, oh my God. Like, it's gray. It's kind of like a pen that's dying out. All of a sudden it will start being black again. All right, we're gonna have to go to the next one. This is ridiculous. Like, and, I, and by the way, I store it upside down. So I, I, don't, I don't understand. But with the next one that I really like, except for it's starting to fray, is it's, so I like this one, but it's longer. So you have to be a little bit more precise and careful with it. But I do like how black it is. And I've had this way longer and it has not dried out at all. It's just it's starting to fray because it's, you know, getting older. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, let's get on to the face. I'm gonna use my, I just got this in my cruelty free kitty box, the golden fadden or fade in or whatever. MD detox hydrating gel. So I am so far the only one to post a cruelty free kitty box video on YouTube. There's some on like Instagram and I'm sure there's some on TikTok, but I'm the only one on YouTube. So if you're interested in this amazing box, by the way, not sponsored. I have talked to her before, but anyway, definitely not a sponsored video, but I feel like you guys should definitely check out that box because I think it's really good quality. It is $39.99 a month. You get five full-size products so far. And they're all cruelty-free, vegan, and clean. And so far, I have liked everything. I've gotten skincare, hair care, and also most of it is sustainable. Or she tries her best, at least, but still a lot of it's sustainable and from brands that I have never even heard of or tried before, so that's awesome. And as I was saying with the mystery box by Manny, I like being able to try brands or like products that I probably wouldn't have bought myself, but sometimes you surprise yourself, you know? I used to hate surprises, honestly. It used to like freak me out, like not knowing. But as I've gotten older, you know, surprises aren't always so bad. All right, so moisturizer, and then we'll use the only primer that I have, the Milani Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. Anything that says hydrating is awesome for me. Mostly under my eyes. God, these panda eyes today. I don't know what happened with my liner today. Got a little crazy, but whatever. Let's get into... I already finished my Project Pan foundation. That was the Bare Minerals. So I usually use... I only have three foundations, actually. So first, we're going to use the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. That's not on my Project Pan, but I'm just going to put it all over my face. Sometimes I just use it as highlighter. Today, I'm going to use it kind of as a primer just to bring some life back to my face. My skin's kind of dull, honestly, because it's so dry. There's like no glow or like hydration. That's from the my that's from the moisturizer. I think I'm running low on this actually. Wow. Right. And then I'm gonna blend it in with my good old phalanges. Okay. 
I thought you should do that. Maybe I won't do that again because I'm kind of pilling right now. Gross. Okay, ew. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Okay. Ew, ew, ew. It was really disgusting. I was getting my hair. Oh, I'm getting my hair done next week. So I have like a pinky purple going on. I don't know. And then I have my super dark hair. I don't know what I want to do, honestly. Any recommendations? I want to do so many different colors, to be honest. Just because I never lived my scene life or colored my hair like wacky colors as a teenager. I was way too afraid of it looking stupid or like doing it myself. This I just like put Arctic Fox on top of my professionally colored hair. God. Okay, ignore all the disgustingness in my hair. Let's just, ew. I'm not gonna do that ever again. I usually just use it as a highlighter, Some, but I guess it did not react well with that. So my skin is breaking out like crazy. I don't know what to do with this. So I just kind of like spot conceal and I'm gonna put a foundation on top. And then I do my corrector, and then I do my foundation. So, oh, oops, I'm supposed to use the e.l.f. one, which, ugh, this is so drawing on me. I know it's supposed to say it says hydrating, but it is not hydrating on me. So I think it's just me. So I'm gonna use, you only need a little bit of this. I don't think it's super hydrating. I'm serious, maybe it's just me. I'll be right back with my base done. All right, now we're gonna set with my, again, in my project pan, the Cover FX Eliminating Powder and Light. I've been trying different powders. I used to be like a powder is a powder. No. I mean, this powder is okay, but I still feel like I crease a little bit, honestly, on my under eyes. And I don't, I don't know why it says illuminating, because I don't think it's illuminating. I mean, I'm not going to say it's mattifying, but I'm not going to say that it's also like, whoa, I got like shimmer going on. So I'm just using this Lunar Beauty brush. I need to get more because my, some of my brushes are getting really old and kind of falling apart. Like one of my e.l.f. foundation brushes that I've had for like, I don't know, like for, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Might be older than Aria, honestly. Maybe it's like five years old. So, yeah. I'm trying to use this powder up. I'm loving my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I love the pressed powder. And I love the One Size Beauty powder. I want to try the Jaclyn Cosmetics powder. That looks really good. If it actually is, because she has dry skin. But if it actually is somewhat hydrating and not drying, I am interested in trying that. So let me know if you've tried it. I was like tempted to get that eyeshadow palette, but then again, I don't use a lot of neutrals. So I'm also like, mm. I actually like light shades like that where you can set your brow bone. I want more palettes like that, even though some people are like, oh my God, like another brow bone shade. I don't use that. I do because I have oily eyelids and I have to to set my lid. So let me know though, because... I don't know if I would use all those browns. I do like the pukey colors, even though that's not what baby puke looks like. And the baby poop ones, those are not. So right now, that's not what baby poop looks like. I don't know what, you know, people are feeding their kids, but that's not what baby poop looks like. All right, all set. Let's get into the bronzer and then the blush. I need to, I've done, now I have done really well on the blush in my project pan. I will say that. Oh, my skin. You can't see from far away, but my skin is so dry. Love that milia going on. Oh my god, this is it. It's just, I'm sorry, but it's gonna have to... It actually kind of looks... No, it looks about the same. I was about to say it looks worse on camera, but it doesn't. Alright, please don't crease today. We don't need that in our lives. Okay, let's do bronzer, because I'm not... That's not in my project pan. And then I'll do... Cream blush, and then we'll come back. Also have this in my project pan, the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Fresh. I love this so much. They have the best eyeliners. I have really watery eyes, and it's gotten worse, actually. But nothing used to last in my waterline, and I used to be like, oh, it's just nothing's going to last in here, so what's the point? I tried a high-end, cheap, everything. And there's not a lot of, honestly, it's really hard to find a vegan eyeliner, too, which is really gross, but whatever. But makes it. I've just tried so many vegan, non-vegan before I went vegan, and these last really, really well. I love the color selection. They're really cheap too. They're like oh, LA Girl always has sales, so they are never full price, five or six dollars. So and they last all day, well, most of the day for me. Again, I have very watery eyes, so it really depends. 
but I love the color selection so much. Needs a bit Ulta, I think some Targets, and yeah, I have three colors, I think. Really pretty. We are getting there for this one. And then also we're gonna use up the mermaid blue one too. And I have the shade lullaby as well and dragon, but those aren't as old, I don't think, at least. Anyway, okay, so let's do lower lash line. I'm trying to debate what I should do. Maybe I'll just do, <sighs> I don't like simple. I know this is so like, I hate simple looks, like as you can tell. I like fun looks. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Paige from the Lunar Beauty palette under leaves. Just because I want to get a bigger dip in this one as well. It doesn't look too, you know, wild. I'd say this is a neutral with a little bit of a pop, like a twist. Not, a, I mean, this could be every day for me, but I don't know about you guys. You feel about having three shimmers on your lid, but I like to promote trying stuff that's different. You know, don't be afraid, because I used to be afraid of doing colorful looks, but it's all about practice and just having fun. If it looks awful, which probably doesn't, but if it does, you can just wash it off, or you can just try again tomorrow or whatever. Have fun on the weekend, you know, get a serious job. Here we go. See, it's not like, I feel like you could wear this to work, but that's just me. All right, inner corner, mascara, and then lips. So let's do our inner corner. We have the web from the Tiny Marbles palette. I love this shade. So pretty, so brightening. Perfect for me. You could use it. I've used it as a highlighter too. And a little bit on the brow bone. All right, you're almost there. Get ready with me. It always take forever to edit, to be honest, but I don't always do the best, but I like doing them too, switching it up a little bit, you know? Let me know what kind of videos you like to see and I will try to do them. I did get a request for my favorite mascaras, which I definitely have a type. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes, do mascara, and then do lips. I don't think I had, or no, I have lip liners actually in my project pan. So anyway, and let me know also if there's things that you want to learn how to do. I am no makeup artist over here. I think I've only done like one cut crease ever, but you know, I'm always interested in trying new things and new techniques, new color combinations, whatever you guys want to see, as well as things I'm interested in. I'm going to do a makeup wish list video. And then brands I want to try as well. I think those would be fun. Now we're gonna do mascara. So I'm gonna do the Bite Beauty on the top and then Calorie on the bottom. Because the Calorie is a two beam mascara. That one that I use for like natural days. I love this. Now this is just a little travel size one. I don't really get full size mascaras to be honest. I mean, yeah, if you're the same way. I just don't notice a difference. And I feel like, why well, spend the money if I don't notice a difference? Mascara is like, I mean, you don't really use all the way up, if you know what I mean. Like, you throw it away every three to six months. All right. I usually do like two or three coats. I love this mascara so much. Recently gotten into like high-end mascaras. And I really still like the Essence one too, but I haven't opened it. I have one in my drawer, but it's not time yet. I've been going through my mascaras. I got too many. I need to use them up first. Okay. All right. Might need like one more coat. I love voluminous, but like also lengthening, but I don't like it to flake. I have hooded eyes and also sensitive eyes. A lot of mascaras flake on me or they just do nothing and they still flake sometimes. This one does everything and more. So 
So pretty. Right, we are gonna use the NYX Cosmetics Peekaboo Neutral. I don't think this is vegan, but I'm trying to use it up in my project pan. As you can see, we're almost done. Thank God. Because I've had this forever and I'm trying to use it up. Who remembers when Manny used to use this all the time? You remember back in the day when people used to use the same eyeshadows all the time? before new products were coming out all like they are now. It's nice. I remember when he had a little, well not little, but he had a YouTube channel that, because he used to use the same eyeshadows over and over and over. And now it's like he has his own brand, but also people use different things all the time. New stuff. It's always about the new stuff. I'm trying not to do that, honestly. I'm trying not to get everything that's new because that's expensive and I want to use up stuff too. I think it's normal to want new things, new and shiny things, but I also think it's normal not to buy lots of new things because it's kind of overwhelming and it's expensive perfection by lunar beauty of course let me know what you think though because i just don't i think it's overwhelming i'm not going to use all the stuff if i keep buying things like i like to hit pan on things i like to use things up and not just keep buying and buying and buying but i also do like adding to my collection like new colors and like being able to do new techniques and new you know looks so let me know I also don't want to have a bunch of eyeshadows that are like all the same because then it's like I don't know what to choose, you know? Eyeshadow is definitely what I have the most of, obviously, because it's my favorite. But I only have two eyeballs, so I can only wear so much at a time. I got rid of all my yellows by accident. I didn't like the palettes that had my yellows in them. Well, except for one. But now I don't have any yellows and I told my husband I need yellows and he was like, no you don't. I'm like, yes I do, I need, so I might just get some singles. Let me know if you have any recommendations for matte yellow eyeshadows that are also vegan and cruelty free, obviously. I love supporting indie brands the most. But anyway, enough with the blabbering. Karen Harris always says that. My final look, what do we think? Let me know again, any recommendations? What are you trying to use up? And what you wanna see from me, product wise, video wise, whatever. Pretty flexible, I like to do different things, film different things. Please like, subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.